Hey guys, in this video, we are going to create a spotlight on our subject in Photoshop. To create this effect straight out of camera, you will need an optical snoot. But if you can't afford that right now, you can easily create the same effect right here in Photoshop. So with no further ado, let's get started. So here is the image. The first thing we do, we fix the image background, which is very easy and simple. You just need to use the patch tool to fix this area that the white background was not extended to. So now we zoom to our model face, take our spot healing brush and easily remove the pimples on our model skin. Just as easy as this. Once we're done with that, if we need to make the model skin look retouched, we just come to our action, click on the auto fix FX and then play the auto fix FX action. Voila! And with just one click, we took the image from looking like this to looking like this. The auto fix FX action is a one click action you can use to retouch your image. It fastens the whole process and gives you a naturally looking retouched image. You can see here was the before and here is after. Here was the before and here is the after. If there's any spot, there's any pimples or freckle or acne on the skin, you take your spot healing brush. I can easily remove that. So the auto face FX action is going to fasten your retouching process so that you can now retouch faster and focus on other aspects of your photo editing or your photography business. So it's super easy before and after. Link to get the auto face FX action is in the description. It's a one dollar action. You can get it with the link in the description. So once you're done with the skin retouching, you can whiten the eye. To whiten the eye, we use the eye white action. Take your brush, make sure the foreground is white. And then you paint on the eye like this to remove the reds in the eye. And the action is just a hue saturation adjustment. And we made adjustment to the red channel. And also we made adjustment to the yellow channel. You can see this adjustment. You can easily create that so that you can use it to whiten your eye. So now you can see the before whitening the eye and the after. Before and after. So let's take a general look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. So right now we are just going to flatten our image. That will duplicate the background and then we we'll name the background copy subject. And now we come to the Click selection tool and now we click on select subject. A subject has been selected for us. The next thing we do, we are going to create a layer max. So we click add layer max icon right here to create a layer max. Then duplicate the subject. The one below, we are going to rename it shadow. We are now going to right click on the shadow adjustment. We are going to convert to smart object. Now we are going to press Ctrl U on our keyboard or Command U. If you are using a PC, it's Ctrl U. If you are using a Mac, it's Command U. To bring up the hue saturation, we are now going to take the lightness all the way to zero. And I'm going to click on OK. So this is what it does to the layer before and after. So now I'm going to press Ctrl T or Command T. You can see it brings up this info smart filters applied to this layer will be turned off temporarily while the transform is being previewed they will be applied after committing the transform so right now i'm going to click on ok so that now when we transform you can see that the filter has been turned off so that it's not looking black again the shadow is no longer looking black but don't worry once we click on ok right here it's going to turn back into the shadow so right now, we are going to transform the shadow. We'll move it slightly to the left. We are now going to right click and we are going to skew the transformation. So right now, this is how we skew. You drag like this. And now we drag this down here. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Then we drag this. So we are, going to, we are trying to create a shadow effect, which as you can see, is very easy. So we we'll skew this just like this. And now we we'll press OK. Our transformation is going to go back to black as it ought to be. 
So be fine after. Now we are going to come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. I'm going to blow the shadow by the radius of 30, just like this for now. Now click on OK. We are going to reduce opacity. The next thing we are going to do, I'm going to come to the subject copy. I'm going to take our elliptical marking tool. I'm going to make a selection like this. Now it's creating an ellipse, but to make a perfect circle, you make sure you press shift on your keyboard and the shape is now going to become a perfect circle. So you make this shape like this. After making this selection, the elliptical marking tool selection, we are going to create a curve adjustment. I'm going to take the points of the curve from here like this and pull it down. I'm now going to press Ctrl I to inverse the layer max. And now we are going to come to properties right here. I'm going to click on the layer max to bring up the layer max property. I'm going to fade out a selection like this. Here was the before and here is the after. You can now turn down the opacity of the spot light that we created using the curves adjustment you can also turn down the opacity of the shadow so we can take a look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after let's zoom in don't forget how we got this retouch naturally retouch skin that's looking flawless and amazing we use the Autoface FS action. This is the Autoface FS action. The link to get the Autoface FS action is in the description. It works for both PC and Mac. I can see I will just use one click to fix the skin. It's super easy. And it's just one dollar. If you would like to contribute just one dollar to the channel so that you can now increase your retouching speed, you can check the link in the description to get the Autoface FS action. Is super handy and useful to your retouching. It's going to fasten your retouching in general. So right now you can take a look at the before and the after. You can still go on to dodge and burn the model. We can go on to add skin tone loads, color grade the skin tone and all that. That is beyond the scope of this tutorial. This tutorial is just on point to show you how to create a spotlight effect on your model. Especially if you don't have an optical snoot that you can use to create this straight out of camera. This is how easy it is to create this right here in Photoshop so you can see the before and the after. Please like this video if you haven't already. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll be among the first to be notified when we put out more helpful tips, tricks and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.